we have some interesting topics for this week's entertainment panel. And as usual, I'm joined with the incredible Abby St. John. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks, Shelby. Now, starting off is the Don't Look Up trailer finally being released. Now, the biggest reason so many people are excited for this is the fact almost every known celebrity is in this movie. There's Jennifer Lawrence, Leonardo DiCaprio, uh, Meryl Streep, so many more. And I'm trying to think how expensive this cast must have been. Yes, yes. Don't Look Up is highly anticipated through Netflix, um, and it will also be in select theaters as well. Um, yeah, like you said, it has a huge cast. And, you know, in the past, we've seen movies that have a large cast and very well-known names. And, you know, sometimes it doesn't work out. Sometimes it does. So it's, it's a big hit or miss. But yes, huge cast, Leonardo DiCaprio, Jennifer Lawrence, Meryl Streep, Jonah Hill, Kate Blanchett, Timothy Chalamet, Ariana Grande, Tyler Perry, Kid Cudi, all large names are going to be in this movie. Now, we've talked about this film a couple of times, but we got a deeper look into what we can expect from Don't Look Up. Now, two lo low-level astronomers who are played by Leonardo DiCaprio and Jennifer Lawrence, they discover a comet that's coming to that's crashing towards Earth. And so they go to the president, who's played by Jonah Hill, and they think it's a joke. He doesn't take them seriously. So it seems like they then go to the media. They go on a media tour to warn everyone about it. And it seems like this is going to be kind of a dark comedy. Um, Adam McKay has worked on it and he has a lot of experience in the comedy genre. So I think him on top of this movie, plus all the stars that are going to be in it, I I'm pretty sure that this movie is going to be pretty good. Um, it's very different from different large cast movies that we've seen in the past. Um, so I think this is a very unique, very different uh, type of movie that I'm very excited for. Um, and, you know, the large cast that they have are filled with so many incredible actors. And, you know, just seeing them all together working on this film it's going to be interesting to see and I'm very excited uh to actually watch it now it's going to be on Netflix and in select theaters December 24th so in a couple of we only have to wait a few more months um but the trailer definitely left me feeling very excited for it yes and although the movie does look interesting with all these big name actors that's going to be in it I'm excited to see how well their chemistry is on screen together now another exciting release is Janet Jackson's teaser for her upcoming two-part documentary with Janet being such a treasure this will air at the same time as the 40th anniversary of her self-titled 1982 album it's going to be fascinating to see what will all be involved in this documentary Yes, she is a legend in the music industry, and I'm very excited to see her uh, her take on her story. Now, she states in the documentary that this is her story told by her and no one else. And she says, and I quote, this is the truth, take it or leave it, love it or hate it, this is me. She doesn't have anyone else telling the story for her. She sits in front of the camera and she tells her story through her eyes and through her own self. Um, now she, now it's said that she's going to be discussing topics such as the infamous Super Bowl performance with Justin Timberlake. Um, her brother, Michael Jackson, is also going to be talked about a lot. And we're just, we're going to get a deeper insight into the legend that is Janet Jackson and how she grew up and her childhood and how she became such a legend in the music industry on her own. Um, doing it by herself and there's going to be a ton of other celebrities talking about her in the trailer we saw that Mariah Carey was one of them so big legends are coming and talking about her and how incredible she is so I'm very excited to see and get a deeper insight into her as a star as a person and like she says this is the truth you know take it or leave it I don't care so I'm very excited to see a deeper insight into her life and into her music and into the music industry that she has been involved in for years. Now it's premieres on Lifetime and A&E January 2022. So we have to wait until next year, but it's not too, too long of a wait. Uh, and I think this is, it's gonna be well worth the wait. 
And it's going to be great to see a documentary that's actually mostly based on Janet Jackson rather than Michael Jackson, and actually just seeing from her own perspective of when he is brought up, because I know it will probably be an emotional roller coaster for this documentary with certain uh, times in her life. Okay, but that's all the time we have for this week's entertainment panel. Thanks so much again for joining us today, Abby. Thank you.